what a thrill. I mean, what an absolute fucking thrill. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Uh, guys, I'm so excited for this interview. I was like raised on these movies. So this is a huge deal for me. So seriously, thank you for taking the time. Sure. Hi, Jake. Yeah, I'm going to jump into this. Um, Jamie, I'm actually going to start with you. I feel like I often hear when, when an actor sort of plays a monster, I hear stories about them kind of keeping their distance from the actors they're terrorizing on film. Bill Skarsgård and Kane Hodder both told me that they never really interacted with like the victims in the film. So when you were on set in makeup, what was your relationship with the other actors on set? Did you keep your distance or did you end up just hanging out with them? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, I mean, Aoife and I like, you know, became became great friends when we were always going to dinner and, you know, having wine and Aperol spritzes. And so it actually was really tough though. Um, when, when, I, when I have the scene with Aoife, you know, where she gets like flipped upside down, it was very hard for me because I was like, oh, I really like her. Like, why am I doing this? <laughs> So yeah, it was, it, maybe that was a mistake, but yeah, no, but I became very close with Aoife and with Brandon and yeah, so it, it was, it was tough. <laughs> I really want to see the deleted scenes of Pinhead just going, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to be doing this to you. I really want to see those scenes, David. <laughs> well, they, she also had a, a real drop in state on set because, um, you know, when Pinhead is there, people pay attention and, you know, the wardrobe, uh, the costume is really intense to wear. And so, uh, you know, Jamie, I think, endured a lot in the presence there and would find this crazy way to use it. So sometimes sometimes she was rather intimidating to be around, um, I think, not just for me and for the other actors, but also for the crew. Uh, I have a wonderful picture of her staying in character while we were setting a shot up just in the labyrinth up against the stone wall with her hand on the wall, just counting down the moments, staying in that hell space. And uh, it's see. probably my eeriest moment on set. <laughs> oh my God, I want to see that. Well, I know Clive Barker has been obviously very supportive of this film and you guys were able to talk with him before shooting, but I'm curious as a director and Jamie for you as an actor, did you reach out to Doug Bradley? Like he has such an ownership over the character. Is there is there a value in picking his brain over the character? We, we reached out to Doug. We really, um, uh, we, we, we wanted to have him cameo in some way in the movie, but uh, middle of a pandemic, I don't know. I also think he uh, respectfully wanted to leave his legacy with the character. And, you know, you can't argue with that. And he, he did tweet um, the other day, he was asked at one of the conventions where he was like doing an appearance and somebody asked him about it. And he, he's actually a fan of a show I did called Sensei and, you know, like gave me his blessing. And Well, because it's a great show. That was so great. And him and Barbie too. I mean, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, no. So that was really fun for me. That was really sweet. That's amazing. Well, you know, actually I was very fortunate. I had the pleasure of, of chatting with uh, Doug Bradley a few years back for a special I was working on. And he told me that uh, when he first went into the makeup on the first film, as people's, you would imagine people's reaction was just to come up and like, just want to touch all of the pens. Jamie, did you have to like, just, do you have to just shoo people away at all time? Like, cause it seems like people's natural reaction is to just want to walk up and touch all the pens on your face. That's so interesting. No, nobody came anywhere near me. <laughs> really? No. It's and if if they had, mm, but yeah, no. The only people that touched me were the, were the makeup artists. That's fascinating. I'm fascinated that that, that happened to him. Yeah, he said everyone just kind of came up and, and touched. Um, I'm going to cut you guys loose on this, uh, Jamie. You get. I'm not going to say what it is, but you get to say one of Pinhead's classic lines from the original. And I just got chills whenever you did it. So I want to know for both of you guys as an actor, as a director, when you have that moment and you know fans are just going to light up in that moment, how do you both pay tribute to Doug Bradley and Clive Barker in the original, but then also say, you know what, this is our movie, so let's make it our own as well? I think they're, I think it's one and the same. I mean, I think you contend with what's come before you, but I think at the same time, um, a, the best way to respect a piece of material is to lose yourself in it, to find yourself in it and run amok. And that was something that Clive was very supportive of and understood from the beginning. He's like, you have to do your own thing. You can't, you can't try to imitate this beat for beat. And um, I think we felt that would, that would never work. Jamie, you as well. I'm so sorry that my <laughs> I just assumed that was Doug Bradley calling, to be honest with you. It was Doug. He's obsessed with me. Won't leave me alone. I'm kidding. Um, I'm sorry. I forgot that I get very just like a bird. What was oh, the question? Just about getting that, that getting to say the iconic pinhead line from the original oh, film. Yeah. I mean, oh, I mean, no, I mean, what a thrill. I mean, what an absolute fucking thrill. I mean, and I did, I wanted to do it in my own way, you know, and, 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 and not, you know, do it like in an over the top way, but I, it is like, you know, those, 
those homage, those Easter eggs, you know, those things like for the fans. I mean, oh my God, what an absolute fucking thrill. Yes. Well, it was a fucking thrill just to be able to talk with you guys and be able to see the film. So seriously, I love you guys. If you can't tell, like this is very much my jam. So seriously, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Jake. We're going, we don't need roads.